On Monday, October 26, 2020, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai took precious time away from her intensive meditation retreat to speak with Supreme Master television team members. During the conference, continued concern about the COVID-19 pandemic was expressed and Master suggested some alternative, longer-term solutions to help society cope during these uncertain times. Actually, if the people adhere to the, the advice, you know, like if you go out, I advise you, you wear face shield, okay? okay? Yes, yes. Yes. You wear a mask, yes? Yes. yes? Or you wear the Google and mask and face shield, and then the hat, you know, and, and wear the, the overall clothes that shield you all over, you know? Yes. Yes. Shield, shield as much as you can, don't touch your face before you wash your hands at home, and after you're home, you clean and wash the clothes, and people can go out, can continue working. They don't really have to be locked down. Yes. Yes, Master. Yes. Because lockdown is depressing for everybody. Yes. yes. For the children, why don't they just uh, make new clothes, like the the clothes for the astronauts, or the clothes that the nurses and the doctors wear in uh, intensive infectious uh, operations? Yes. 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 yes, Master. Yes. They wear like a hood. Yes. yes. With the transparent. Uh, material in the front like glass or plastic see through yes but everything else the head and the shoulder are all covered they wear the cover clothes yeah and they wear their uh, surgical hand hand gloves mm. yes. Yes. and they wear uh, socks and shoes underneath yes. Yes. yes then they could go out and work anywhere and wear that for the children also so they can go to school they have to develop some more dress codes for the people so that they can go out and live their lives. So it doesn't have to always be in lockdown completely like that. But only if people really adhere to the, you know, regulation and the principle of protection for selves and others. That is the only problem because some people do not adhere to it. And that's why the government probably has to lock them down, all of them, because they would not know who will come out with or without the mask or with or without all that um, comprehensive protection. That's why. So it's actually also people's responsibility. It's not only the government to be blamed. So you see, the consciousness of people is very, very coarse still. Some of them are still very coarse. Going out, protesting even just to wear a mask. My goodness, why do they do that? The doctors in the hospital and the nurses some of them wear masks for many hours. If they have a long operation, they wear it like forever. And the dentists, they wear it all the time because they have to work with the gloves and the mask to treat the patients. I don't know why people are so unreasonable, really. This I have to say. I like it in Ethiopia. If you don't wear a mask in the public, you will be jailed for two years and maybe fine also. We need such a strong leader like that for anything that is good for humanity. Maybe other countries should follow suit just to protect the innocents, the ones who abide by the law, the ones who protect themselves and to protect others. So if they're protected themselves, you know, the way I said it, then you could just go out and enjoy your life then the government doesn't have to worry about you, then the government will not have to implement the lockdown uh, rules, which are very, very bad for many people. Because people cannot be locked up forever. They feel very suffocated, frustrated, depressed. Yes, yes ma'am. And that will also kill some of them mm. if they cannot cope with their depression. Yes. And the children also, they have to go out and interact with each other and learn more uh, of what they have to learn yes. and also interacting with their bodies. Yes. Yes. Otherwise, they feel very suffocated. And also at home, if uh, all the family is being together too long, there might be also the pressure in the house. Step on each other's foot yes. and feeling uh, lack of space. Yeah? Yes. 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 And they could also fight. There are many psychological effects mental effect on the people when they are locked out too long. Okay, huh? Yes. yes. So locking down is not the best answer. Mm. It's a temporary 
best answer, but not the best answer in the long run. Yes, yes. yes. The government have to order people or the company or the manufacturer to make new kind of clothes. Okay. Yes, yes. Something so that people can go out, live their life, walk in the park, walk in their dogs, walking with their children, playing with their children in the field, going to work, earn their living if they want to or work, now, even if they work at home. But now and then they still need to go in the office because there are many things. You cannot just talk by phone. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, In the long run, locking down is terribly damaging to the country's economy, to the world economy as well, not just people's uh, mental health or psychological wellness. So long-term lockdown is a no-no. Normally you have to wear clothes to go out anyway to cover yourself. And then just uh, an extra hat or the face cover or face shield, what's wrong with that? And I think everybody has the duty to do that to cooperate with the government, to protect yourself and others. There is no excuse whatsoever. I think the other government should apply the strict law like in Ethiopia to protect the innocents, the children, the weak women, the weak persons, the elderly who are more vulnerable than the rest. Because people who don't wear protective Yeah, they might get infected and then cost a lot of money for the government and the society and cause a lot of pain and suffering for their relatives and friends and family members as well. So they are no good. They can be classified as criminal. I mean it. The number of confirmed COVID-19 cases throughout the world has surpassed 40 million, but experts say that is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the true impact of the pandemic. COVID-19 global cases, official 45.1 million cases, unofficial 780 million cases or 10% of the world population. Global deaths, official 1.2 million deaths, unofficial 3.9 million to 7.8 million deaths. Master also mentioned the great sacrifice many masters make and the risk they take when coming down to this physical world of unimaginable heavy karma to help beings here during this period. If there is no true master power at this time, all these Buddha Bodhisattvas will be locked forever. I mean, not forever, but many, many beings, okay? Yes, yes, yes sir. Even for sharing the karma of other beings on this planet at this time. Just sharing and helping only, you would be locked forever even like that. Wow. Imagine. I tell you a secret. I also have to lend a hand. I mean, using almighty power master power to save some of the so-called masters wow. in our in our time. Wow. Otherwise, their disciple karma, their other world karma would drown them in, in hell. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. I don't want to tell who is who. Yes. Thank Thank you, sir. But that's the, the truth. I have never told you. Just by the way, I tell you, just to let you know, Lucky are the ones who escape this time. Really fortunate. Extraordinarily fortunate. Superbly. Super, super fortunate. Yes, yes Master. Don't take everything for granted. Yes, yes Master. Master. Meditate well. Pray all the time. Be grateful all the time for your blessings. Our deep gratitude, most compassionate Master, for your unwavering love and care, spending every moment working to save all beings and giving urgent and uplifting reminders, despite your extraordinarily demanding schedule, to help us continue to grow spiritually and as a human race. May the mighty goddesses of the highest heavens forever shield and support Master to live in peace, good health and joy in the immense love of the Divine. For the full broadcast of this conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later date. <laughs>